All right, I just wanted to uh, try to clear up some confusion because I see, you know, like I read about blowers and stuff online and I see people kind of upset about how a thing's rated because we're used to CFM and speed. But um, what they've started doing is using Newtons or Newton force. And that's to try to overcome. A lot of manufacturers will list. It's a tricky trick they use. They'll list the CFM and they'll list the top speed. But what they don't tell you is that the CFM can't be achieved at the same time as the top speed because you know it's with a different nozzle or that kind of thing. And so to try to level the playing field, they've gone to Newton force. And it's just another way of saying pounds. Um, and so there's a conversion. If you're using Newtons and you want to know how many pounds that is, you multiply by 0.225 and that'll go from Newtons to pounds. And if you have pounds and you want to know how many Newtons it is, you multiply by 4.45. And it's really that easy. And I'm going to demonstrate these on a scale just to sort of give you an example. So I got a scale here. This thing's about a foot off the ground. Now I'm sure there's a standard. I'm, I'm not getting real, you know, engineering you with this. I just want to demonstrate for people. Um, I just want to demonstrate for people like, you know, how easy it is and why Newton's slash pounds is a good rating. All right, we got our scale. I'm going to put this over here so you can see it. And I'm just going to demonstrate. This is rated for, I don't know, I think it's like 185 cubic feet per minute or 185 miles per hour. And I don't know. I, I don't know those specs. I just know it's rated for 20, a little like 22 newtons. So we're going to pull the trigger. I'm going to go down to about a foot off the scale and see what we can put on it. <laughs> I'll use the backpack one and that's that's gonna be a little tougher but we'll do the same thing this is rated for 26 newtons all right so yeah the quick and easy conversion on this was I got about We'll say five pounds, four ounces, so five and a quarter pounds. And if I'm doing it in my head, I'd say four and a half, so that's 22 plus another one. So 23 Newtons for the five and a quarter pounds of pressure on this. And then this uh, backpack one, I think it was six, we'll call it six and three quarters. It was between like six pounds, 10 ounces, and six pounds, 15 ounces. So six, 12, six and three quarters. Uh, again, if I'm doing it in my head, I would just say four and a half. So uh, seven times four and a half is is uh, thirty um, minus a little bit. So that would be that would be my estimates if I was doing it in my head with these, trying to do quick math. Um, this one, that one's a little high, but I was using an eight amp battery instead of the five that comes with it. So I don't know if that helps it out this one's rated at 26 newtons and this one's rated at either 20 or 22 i can't remember so hopefully that's helpful to anybody struggling with the cfm miles per hour newtons and pounds force it's just uh it's what it puts out how much that force that's what you're pushing against a pile of leaves with how much push you got so i kind of it's a little bit of a pain to get used to, but I like it better because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a number that can be more widely applied to everything. In fact, I think Red Max makes the most powerful backpack blower right now, and I think they're rated at 47 newtons a pound for, so that'd be, that'd be like 10 and a half pounds on the scale, give or take. Um, and I think the best electric one right now is 36 newtons. So, you know, it'd be like eight and a half. So hopefully that's helpful to anybody struggling with the conversion numbers. 
And again, this isn't the scientist's explanation. I'm sure there's a lot more detail, you know, that you can get on this. It's just a simple explanation for guys like me and hopefully you, if you're the right guy watching the video, that just want to know how to compare these things um, and what the numbers mean. Again, thank you. Hope you found this helpful, useful. Have a good one.